Hi, this is Salman Lalana and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 210 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a retrograde CTO crossing through an ipsilateral collateral. The patient was a woman that presented with medical refractory angina in the setting of a circumflex CTO with a prior unsuccessful attempt for recanalization. Normal left ventricular systolic function, coronary geography shows a small non-dominant right coronary artery with a, a dominant circumflex that has a CTO in the mid-segment. The CTO has an ambiguous proximal cap and uh, there are some collaterals coming from the LAD that are supplying the left PDA. Those can be seen a little better in the areocranial view. So this is a summary of the lesion. We do have an ambiguous proximal cap. We do have an occlusion length of approximately 30 millimeters. The distal vessel is small and diffusely diseased and is filling both through septal collaterals from the LAD, but there are also some epicardial collaterals from the diagonal. So given the proximal cap ambiguity, we decided to start with the primary retrograde approach through the septal collaterals followed by undergrade wiring if we were able to clarify the ambiguity and leave ADR as a final option because there was a bifurcation of the distal cap. So we advanced a, a care microcatheter and we tried to understand the connections. The epicardial connections were not very good. And then we did a surfing of the third, sep of the third septal. This is a Caravel microcatheter and the SUO3 guide wire. Those septals were fairly tortuous, as we're seeing before. So we're moving back and forth, withdrawing the guide wire and advancing with constant rotation. And eventually there's some release and the wire seems to be going in the right direction. Of course, we have to confirm that. And this is confirmation showing that the retrograde wire has actually entered into the distal true lumen. So we were able to advance the caravel almost all the way to the PDA, but then had a, a lot of difficulty advancing it further up into the vessel. So what we do when we have difficulty advancing the retrograde uh, microcatheter all the way to the distal cap, it can be challenging and some options include dilating the septal or uh, using a different microcatheter or a new microcatheter, or sometimes just crossing retrograde true to true, true. If everything fails, one can actually use the retrograde wireless marker and proceed with undergrade crossing. So what we did is um, we advanced the retrograde Sion black wire all the way to the distal cap, and we used that as a marker for undergrade crossing. So we tried to cross with a Corsair XS and a guy X2 that seemed to be going extra plaque. And then uh, once again, more attempts to advance the guide wire further down. And although the guide wires are close to each other, they are dancing and seeing the undergrade guide wire was in the extra plaque space. So we tried uh, with the Gladius Mongo. Um, we tried again to advance the microcatheter further up, uh, but we had difficulty, so we were kind of stuck. So what to do for this difficult reverse cap? What we ended up doing is use a new um, Caravel microcatheter that was actually able to be advanced essentially all the way to the distal cap. So now we have uh, wires in the distal true lumen and also undergrade wire that is overlapping. We did a reverse cart with a 3 millimeter balloon and the draft technique, which is deflate, retract, and advance into the fenestration. Essentially, we deflate the balloon, we pull it back, and at the same time, we advance the retrograde guide wire. And by doing that, we can see here the retrograde wire just jumped into the undergrade guide caster. It is important to confirm that actually the wire is in the right location. So this is intravascular ultrasound. And uh, we're coming back. This is done into the circumflex. We can see that the retrograde uh, guide wire is into the true lumen. This is very important to know because if the guide wire enters into the true lumen proximal to the left main bifurcation, that can be a problem because then um, one might compromise the LAD when we do stenting. So we were able to advance the retrograde microcatheter into the undergrade catheter. But here the situation we have is that everything is done through the same guide catheter. 
So we have a single guide, you have the microcatheter going through the collateral, distal true lumen, and then the wire and microcatheter coming back all the way back into the same guide catheter. So what we end up doing here is externalize the guide wire through the same guide catheter. This is the caravel, and this is advancing the retrograde guide wire, which comes out through the same guide catheter. We then predilate it, stand it with a long drag eluting stand, and uh, this provides a nice result. We have Timothy flow into the circumflex. There is some diffuse disease, proximal and distal, likely before, because of distal uh, um, underperfusion for a long period of time. And then uh, we decided to place an additional stand to cover the circumflex. And that provided a nice result. So we now have a TIMI3 flow into the circumflex. We checked uh, the septal collateral. There has been no injury of the collateral. So in summary, this case provided us with many interesting lessons. The first one is that uh, a primary retrograde approach can be very useful in case of proximal cap ambiguity. This is one of the three options outlined in the global crossing algorithm. The other two is using IVUS guidance, if you have a side branch next to the proximal cap. And the other one is to dissect proximally the so-called move the cap techniques. You have the challenge here of the microcaster not crossing through the septal, and there are many different ways to help with that. One is to change to a different microcatheter or a new microcatheter, use a guide extension for support, uh, balloon the septals, usually with a 1.0, 1.2 millimeter balloon. Um, or sometimes one can um, uh, try different ways to use this, such as leaving the retrograde wire as a marker and using it as a target for the undergrade guide wire. In this particular case, we were able to eventually advance a new Caravel microcaster all the way to the distal cap and then did the reverse card. The challenge we had after retrograde crossing was that of externalization because everything was going through the same single guide catheter. We only had one eight French guide catheter. Nevertheless, we were able to externalize an R350, but perform balloon angioplasty, place a stent. We didn't have to come anywhere near the other part of the um, guide wire, and that provided a nice final result. Thank you.